Hi, my name is Sherry Melander-Smith and you're watching Living Forward. The goal of Living Forward is to talk about issues that help people with disabilities and chronic illnesses live the very best life possible. On the show today, we have, I have two guests from the Brain Injury Association of Minnesota. I'd like to welcome Lee George. Welcome, Lee. Thanks, I understand that you're the volunteer and marketing manager. That's right. Is that yeah, correct? Yeah, I absolutely yeah. am. Yeah. Great. And, and um, we also have with us today Amy Paul. Nice Hi. to see nice, you, Amy. Nice, nice to, to be you. here. And you're a consumer of the Brain Injury Association of correct. Minnesota, correct? So um, tell me, Lee, what kind of services does the Brain Injury Association have um, that uh, that people who have a brain injury can can go there for resources. Sure. Yeah, we're a statewide organization, and we serve all 87 counties in Minnesota. And uh, our goal is to support individuals living with a disability due to brain injury, and their family and their support group. And so, one of the main services that we provide is resource facilitation, which is a a totally free phone-based program. Anyone in the state can call and ask any type of question they want, and also uh, get. Uh, points towards resources and supports in their community, what they're looking for. It's also available to uh, their family members and just uh, anyone that might have a question about brain injury. Uh, and you can sign up for a two-year program uh, that's totally free. We're just a phone call away to anybody in the state. Awesome. And I understand that there's, in Minnesota, there's 100,000 individuals um, with brain injury that you serve, and you're the only nonprofit in the state of Minnesota that serves that community. Yeah, we, you know, we work in partnership and collaboration with a lot of other organizations to provide a comprehensive web of support for people. Uh, we are the sole statewide organization that supports people with brain injury, mm -hmm. uh, but we work with a lot of community partners in order to really get that, that yes, job done, absolutely. including many volunteers like yes. uh, Amy across the state who help us uh, each and every day uh, throughout the year. Mm -hmm. And I know part of it is uh, you have a large part of your um, resources that are given to education. Yeah. You educate not only the community and the consumers, right. but just, like I said, the community at large. Absolutely. Well. Yeah, both uh, community. I always say just because you have a brain injury doesn't mean you know anything about brain injury. People don't study for it. And yes. uh, so we, you know, we try and educate uh, individuals living with a disability due to brain injury, uh, their family, their support group, but also professionals. We have a annual statewide uh, conference on brain injury for professionals and actually coming up is our consumer and family conference this fall. Wonderful. Oh, that's perfect. Thank yeah. you. And Amy, um, I understand that you yourself are <clears throat> a survivor of a brain injury. And tell me what happened, if you don't mind. What, what, uh, what happened and what was the process like getting better and what was your involvement with the Brain Injury Association of Minnesota? Back in February of 2008, I was being a nice wife and <laughs> shoveling the driveway oh, okay. um, before my husband got home and I slipped on the ice and fell oh. and hit the back of my head. Um, I was knocked unconscious for quite a while. When I came to, um, it took over the course of about a week, I lost my ability to walk, to talk, to speak clearly, um, to really lost, I say, is my sense of self, kind of fell down the rabbit hole. Mm -hmm as my brain swelled over that week. And we, my husband reached out to the Brain Injury Association Wonderful. for help um, after we had seen our initial doctor and said, what else can we do? Where else can we go? And that's how we became very involved very early on with the Brain Injury Association. Yes, and now I understand that you're a volunteer and yep. you're a speaker. Yes. And, and one of the great miracles of your recovery is that you're expecting little yes. Henry. Little Henry will be here any day now. <laughs> and I, I, the thing that is so significant about this is not just the miracle of birth, but the fact that when you were injured, they told you you might not be able to feed yourself. I mean, that's right. really how seriously I, you were injured. Yeah, I couldn't take care of myself. I couldn't remember to feed myself or take care of myself. And for, you know, for one, at one point the doctor said she's going to need to live in a group home. And then it was, okay, she might get better, a little better than that, but definitely having children was a goal that they said I could never obtain. The yes. entire time I said <laughs> yes. it's my number one I've goal. Got other, I've got other decisions plans. made here and I've got other plans. Well, that's fantastic. Congratulations on Thank that. You. I am so happy for you. And tell me if, if there's anything that you, is there any advice you'd like to give somebody who maybe may not be as far um, as long as you in their recovery, some words of wisdom or hope that you could share with them about what the recovery process is like and the dreams that they can have really? I think definitely. And I think it's, I say, take what the doctors are saying with a grain of salt. It's respect what they have to say, but also believe in yourself and Absolutely. believe in what your dreams are and know that you can get there. It, it's a bumpy road. It's a long road. It's mm -hmm. a difficult road, but always keep your eye on the bigger picture and set those goals because 
you can do it. Absolutely. I understand that you, uh, thank you for that. Mm -hmm. I, I so appreciate you being willing to share your story. And I know um, you've been on other news programs and have a chance <laughs> to speak out at other organizations. So we really appreciate you coming thank here you. And, and giving your, um, giving us the wisdom that you've gained from that experience. So, My pleasure. Yes, absolutely. And I understand that um, coming up soon, you're going to have one of your major fundraisers coming up. Isn't that right? That it's is correct. A, it's called yeah. Walk for Thought. Tell yeah, me a little bit about that. That's right. That. Yeah, it's a Walk for Thought. It's September 24th this year. It happens in four locations around the state, St. Paul, St. Cloud, Rochester, and Duluth. And it's our 10th anniversary. And uh, yeah, we're looking forward to it. It's our biggest fundraiser of the year. It's really a, a celebration of hope, um, of giving, awareness. And, uh, we, and this year marks the 10 year the anniversary. The 10 year anniversary, so yeah. That's wonderful. It's a wonderful time. If you've never been to any of our events, I encourage people to come out to this one and uh, to see what uh, it's all about, to see what our community so is about. If our viewers would like more information, um, what is your website address? Sure, it's www.braininjurymn.org, or you can okay. call us at 612 378 2742. Perfect. Well, I'm sure there'll be several viewers I'll be getting in touch <laughs> with you as a result of that. And there's a brain, the Brain Injury um, Association. Are there other chapters nationwide? That it, yeah, we're about one of about 44 other uh, state uh, chapters across okay. the nation. Yes, wonderful. Well, thank you so much for being here. We appreciate Thanks. your time. Thank you. So that's our show for today. Thank you very much for, for watching. And back to you, Mark. Bye-bye for now.